Ladies and gentlemen, perhaps the craziest new feature going to be added to Windows 11 is now finally live for the broader public. For the last few months, those of us on the beta or dev channel have been testing the ability to run Android apps on Windows 11, and now that is finally fully live to everyone. That being said, the Android apps that you can run right out of the box are restricted to apps that are in the Amazon App Store. And that does cause some pretty big problems because there just aren't that many apps in the Amazon App Store. But rest assured, there are ways to sideload your own apps, the apps of your choice, not just the apps there in the Amazon App Store. Now, you are still going to be restricted via this method to apps that do not use the Google Play service. Services. So apps like YouTube, not going to work. I hear that there is a way to have the Google Play services installed, but this is not something I've dug very deeply into. So we're not going to talk about that today. This is just basic side loading on Windows 11. So first thing you got to do is you got to make sure you're fully updated because this just rolled out. So if you don't know how to do that, go to your system settings here, click on Windows Update, check for update, let them install and then reboot if you need to do that. From there, you're gonna need to go to the Microsoft Store and you should see a banner up here, big, bright, beautiful banner that says Amazon App Store Preview. Click on See Details and if you just pick any app at all, it's going to tell you that you can install the Amazon App Store. You see, mine says get from Amazon App Store. I've already got it installed. Well, if you don't have it installed, it will ask you there to install the Amazon App Store. So go ahead and click on that. Let that process take place. It shouldn't take very long at all. And once it's done, it's gonna ask you to reboot. So once you've done all of that, we'll continue. So from there, you're gonna go down and click the link in my description that is going to developer.android.com because we now need to do some downloading. So let's go over to this page. Let's scroll down until you see download SDK platform tools for Windows. Click on that, scroll down, accept the licensing agreement. If you wanna read all of it, feel free to read all of it, download. And now we're going to move over to our download folder. We're going to go ahead and extract all. You can go ahead and extract it there if that's where you want it to be. Let's let this do its magic. Now, an extra little step that I like to do, I like to go in here, rename this folder ADB, and then move it with Control X to the root of my C drive. Let's paste it in there just because it makes the address easier. It's much, much shorter. And we're going to need that address here in just a moment. So now we're going to click on the next link, which is to apkmirror.com. And you're just going to find an APK that you want to try to download. Now keep in mind, if it's a Google product, if it's YouTube, something like that, that's probably not going to work. In this instance, I'm going to go with an application called Overdrop, which I hope will work. I'm not sure that it will. We're going to find out together. So let's pick one. I'm not going to do a beta version. I just clicked on that on accident. I'm going to do this one instead. So let's click on download. Let's click on download again. And then we'll download for the last time right there. Okay, after that, move this out of the way. You're going to hit your start menu. And you're going to search for Windows subsystem for Android. I'm kind of cut off there, but you'll see it. We'll click on that. It'll load and do some stuff to open up and let it do its thing. It's going to take a second. Then we're going to go down here where it says developer mode. We're going to turn that on. Then you're going to hit start again. Type in CMD until you see command prompt. Right click on that. Hit run as administrator. And we're going to type in CD. Then we're going to go back to wherever you put your ADB. I put mine in C colon forward slash ADB because it's shorter. We're going to hit control C. We're going to hit control V. And then we're going to get hit enter. So now we are in that ADB folder with our shell. Now we're going to type in ADB connect. And we're going to go back to this screen again. And we're going to find my IP address, which mine says unavailable. So we're going to have to go get it. Hopefully yours says it's there and you can just copy that, but that's not what's happening for me. So we're going to have to go get it. To do that, we're going to click on manage developer settings, bring this back over where it's visible. And then once this loaded, you can close this and click on refresh and you should have an IP address. I don't know why that's what you have to do. Sometimes you have to do that. Now we can copy that. Let's go back to our shell, connect, Paste in that IP. We are now connected. 
Now let's go to our downloads folder where we should have downloaded an APK. I'm gonna go ahead and change the name of this to overdrop. Don't change it to overdrop dot whatever, leave it alone. But we're gonna now move this with control X and put it into the same folder as ADB. So we're gonna paste that in there. And now we can do install overdrop dot APK, hit enter. Oh, sorry, I forgot ADB. ADB install overdrop.apk, very important. Performing streamed install. Success, okay. So now on your start menu, you should see overdrop recently added. Let's launch this bad boy. And we are up and running. There is overdrop running on my computer. And this is an application. I don't know, it might be in the Amazon App Store. I didn't even actually check, but it's just an app I wanted to try. Now there is another application I would highly suggest that you would install because it's gonna open up a Pandora's box of applications to you to be able to install. Let's close this and I'm gonna show you this one very quickly. Now we got the basics down, it's gonna be super simple. Let's go back to our web browser. And we're going to grab something called Aurora OSS, which is basically another third party app store for Android where you're going to get a whole bunch of new apps. So let's download. Let's go to stable. Let's click on download again. And we should get here. Go with the most recent one, which will be that one there. We're downloading. OK, let's minimize this. We are still shelled in, ADB'd in, all that good stuff. So all we have to do now is just like before, go grab this, control X to cut, Whoop. bring back over this, you know, where your, where your ADB is installed, paste that in, bring back up shell, ADB install, and let's just get that copied as well, because I didn't change the name, install that.apk, hit enter, performing streamed install and we have another success so let's see here what kind of world we're now living in let's bring this over next next accept accept we're gonna keep this thing on dark mode next i like blue now let's grant some permissions allow allow grant Next, and this this freezes for me, okay? I don't know why that freezes, but it does. You gotta go back and go back forward again. We're gonna log in with Google, but you can be anonymous if you want to. Let's just be anonymous. And here we are, we are in the Aurora store and let's pick an application to install from here. How about Instagram? I don't actually know if this is going to work or not. But we're gonna click on install and let's find out. It's gotta pop up here, we're gonna say install. Instagram successfully installed. Let's try and launch it. And hey, there we go. There's Instagram now running pretty, pretty darn easily on my Windows 11 computer. So guys, hopefully that was simple enough for everybody. There are some applications that try to make this easier. And in fact, I tried to use one of them you may have seen this in my start menu called WSA Tools. I tried to use it, I tried to make it work, but I could not get that thing to work correctly for me at all. So I just reverted back to doing it manually. And that's not all that difficult. So hopefully you guys all understood everything. If you have questions, please let me know. I will try to answer them and I will see you next time. But until then, stay nerdy, my friends.